What's going on guys? It's me, Kyle, aka The Rider Wolf. And today we're going to be talking about 1080p versus 1440p, but mainly going from 1440p back to 1080p resolution. Now, of course, over the last year, I've owned a 1440p monitor, which has been my only monitor. I've owned that since August 2014, when the Asus Swift PG278Q came out, which of course, it's 1440p, 144Hz, and features NVIDIA's G-Sync technology, which to my add is one of the best technologies to be released in the last 10 years for PC gaming. Like I said, one of guys, because we do have AMD FreeSync, which is pretty much cool uh, technology as well. But like I said, about this monitor, that's the only thing I've used, and I pretty much use this monitor to browse the internet, edit videos, play games, mainly play games, and just generally use everything on that single monitor. So 1440p resolution has been my resolution, the normal resolution I'm used to for over a year now. So fast forward to present day over a year, I need a second monitor. The logical choice was actually go and get another Swift. But fortunately, there's still 500 pounds in the UK. I didn't really want to spend 500 pounds on a monitor. I was just gonna sit there and look pretty. So I wasn't really, uh, justify the cost on that. So I looked around and I found that Asus do a VN278, uh, 279Q should I say, which pretty much looks identical to the Asus Swift. It even has that nice small bezel, what is a massive thumbs up to me, because I like everything looking uh, the same. Uh, but unfortunately it's a 1080p 60Hz. But I wasn't really bothered about that because on sale, I snapped that sucker up, I bought the Novatech stand, what I'm going to do a review on next actually, or maybe the next two, two videos or something like that, something so change due to that. But Overall, I snapped it up and got it all wired up. Now, my first reaction was seeing that 1080p actual resolution again compared to 1440p, what I've been used to for over a year now, I remember, guys, was, wow, how awful does 1080p look? Everything on the desktop was big. There was all blurry, the icons was, all the text when I was Googling stuff and everything. It's just awful, absolutely awful. It's like literally been driving a Ferrari every single day for work, and after a year, your boss turned around and said, unfortunately, you have to drive that piece of shit 20-year-old banger again for work, and I'm going to let you drive your actual uh, Ferrari on the weekends only. That's what it felt like having a 1080p monitor next to my 1440p monitor. Now, I'm sure if I had a 4K monitor next to my 1440p, I would feel the same after using the 4K for quite a while. Like 1440p is shit compared to 4K. But saying that though, guys, 1080p ain't all that bad because when I was actually gaining, uh, gaming on the 1080p monitor, I wanted to try it out. To be honest, it wasn't that far different from 1440p. I could see the difference, of course. It's not as sharp and everything, but overall, it's still a very durable experience. Of course, the graphics card power was nothing. It was literally easy uh, power in that 1080p monitor compared to 1440p. But over time, I've actually got used to using the 1080p monitor now, so I pretty much use it for editing videos mainly, but it's nice because I do render in 1080p, so it's nice to actually get everything straight. But it actually got me thinking, this is why I'm making the video today. Is 1080p gaming with today's graphics cards actually starting to fade out now, considering it's been out for quite a while in the PC community? Because of course, this year we're having a lot of 1440p panels coming out, IPS panels, and of course they're pushing the 4K along now, everyone's talking about the 4K, and 1080p, to power a 1080p monitor now, you can easily get a 750 Ti, which costs nothing, and you still get a great, enjoyable experience and good frames at high settings on a 750. I've seen it better with friends do that. And even 1440p today, with today's cards from AMD and uh, Nvidia, you can easily power a 1440p monitor. My 2970 is easy, max everything out, over 60 FPS, higher than 60 FPS, even some games up to 144 FPS like Battlefield on a 1440p. So realistically, 1440p in my opinion is not realistically mega hard to actually power. Really from the two monitors you're probably looking at 20 FPS depending on the game difference. So all that said and done there guys, I'm actually, actually starting to believe that 1080p realistically is uh, a dying breed. A dying breed to be honest, still perfectly fine. It is a good resolution to play at, but with all the new graphics cards and the monitors coming out now and everyone jumping on that, I feel 1080p is a dying breed. What do you guys think? I'm gonna let you guys dwell on it for a moment. And um, I would love to actually know what you guys think. Do you think 1080p is uh, fading out and everyone's jumping on that 1440p? What is the perfect resolution for gaming in my opinion? And of course, everyone else uh, says it as well, who has a 1440p monitor. and 
Oh, you already jumped on 4040p. Oh, you're on to 4K. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment below. I'd love to know it goes. And of course, leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. And that's about it, there, guys. So I'm gonna finish it, then doing this video and play some games and have a good time. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.